Hello friends, welcome to Abhiyanvi Tutorials. So today in this video, we will see how to handle the null values in custom column in Power Query. So my goal is to display the values less than 10 as valid and wherever value null is there, I want to display null and whatever value is greater than 10, then I want to display invalid. So let's start to write a custom column here. So if if number is less than ten, then I want to display valid. Okay. Else if number equal to null, then I want to display null. Okay. Else invalid. Invalid means value is greater than. Then else is that condition, right? So let's see the whether it works or not. Let's see. So wherever null is there, we are getting the error here. Okay. So how to fix this error? First, let's see the error. So error is saying that we cannot convert the value null to the type logic. Okay. So what does it mean? So here it is not able to compare this null value to 10 and here null value to 10 it is not comparing because it is not supporting null values in logical okay null means nothing right so it cannot compare with the 10 so there itself it is throwing error and we are getting error so how to fix it first we will shift null to the beginning okay so then it will be eliminated all null values will be sorted out then other values it will go to the logic will go to other values so first we have to sort out all null values to null. So null equal to null it will take but null less than 10, null greater than 10 it won't take. It is failing. So let's see whether null equal to null it will take or not. So first we will give the null equal to null. Number equal to null then null. That condition will give in the beginning so that all null values will be eliminated. Then it will go to the other values. The logic will, logic will go to the other values. right? So let's see. So this I will give in the beginning, then I will shift this to second condition. So whenever I give the first condition null, uh, where number equal null equal to then null, then all null will be become null, then logic will go to the other values, then other values null won't be there. So this logic will work and we will get the correct output. Let's see this. So all null values will be fixed all errors will be fixed and wherever null is there null will get so we have to remember that when you are writing null values when you are handling the null values in custom column first eliminate null values means first eliminate uh, fix the null values give the condition for null first then we'll go to other values otherwise it will throw the logical error hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more such amazing power query DAX videos thanks for watching bye bye